Number 15. So this is an illusion that maybe you can help me figure out. A girl stands with her back turned and then somehow levitates, completely suspended in midair for nearly 20 seconds before coming down. Obviously, this has to be an illusion, because if she could really do this, she would do it facing us to prove it's real. The only thing I can't figure out is how she's able to do this at all. Looking at her shadows, it's clear that her feet are not touching the ground. I also notice a thin shadow that seems to connect her to the counter. I don't know what this object is, but I know it's not her arms. Here she puts her arms at her sides, and the shadow doesn't go away until well after. With that said, what do you think this could be? Number 14. For years now, strange, unidentifiable lights have been sighted over the Hawaiian city of Oahu, gradually changing appearances each time, but always making the heart race of whoever lays eyes upon it. This white squiggly shape is what they look like in 2014. It almost looks like it could be flares here, but I'm not so sure. One of the clearest and most popular videos comes from Mash Hate, who observed the Oahu lights as oversized orange orbs that seemingly replicate and grow in the sky from nothing. Soon they faded back into obscurity as silently as they came. The most recent sighting was taken in November of 2019, and this time the lights are much smaller and fly straight up. As you can see from these three videos, number 13, this YouTube video posted by a user named Relly Kane doesn't have a source, but he claims it happened somewhere in Vermont. The creature looks a lot like the rake, except there appears to be two long and possibly razor sharp arms jutting ahead to support its weight as it moves. The legs look very small and unnatural at 14 seconds in, and at 42 seconds, you can see its arms are way too long to be a human. However, at the 55 second mark, it looks like it could possibly be someone in a costume, leaning on two walking sticks. So what do you make of this? Number 12. A YouTuber named Steve Huff records what he suspects could be a paranormal sighting. At the Long Lead House in England, built in the late 1500s, a spirit descends the steps and then continues to walk in midair in heavy, plodding footsteps. Some people are claiming that this is some kind of hologram projection, while others say this is real. If you've ever been to the Longleat House in England, then let us know if this is just a tourist attraction so we can settle the rumors once and for all. Number 11. Will Wilde's Outdoor Adventures is a YouTube channel focusing on interesting hikes through nature trails. This time, Will Wilde is completely alone in the woods when he gets the feeling that he is being watched. His survival instincts tell him to pause and survey his surroundings, a decision that probably saves his life. Watch this part and tell me if you spotted anything before he zooms in because I sure didn't. There's a bear right there. There's no doubt that he would have kept going straight into its clutches if he didn't think to zoom in first. It's standing dead center in the path and looking straight at him, so maybe if it was even waiting in ambush, he turns around instead but that doesn't exactly mean he's safe yet. Bears are notoriously curious and will follow hikers for a long time especially if they are protecting their territory. So now Will has to keep making noises to keep the bear at bay. He is absolutely terrified, but he has to sound as brave as he can as he backpedals down the narrow path while screaming, Hey, bear! As you can see, there is tall vegetation on both sides, and he expects to be a goner at any moment from an unseen angle. Also, one false step could leave him with a twisted ankle and a wild bear steadily approaching. Bear spray out. Hey, bear! The trail even widens into a clearing, and he can see that he is not being followed. 
I think he took the best course of action considering the circumstances. But let me know what you're supposed to do in that situation and if he made any mistakes. Number 10. This public official in Costa Rica is in the middle of a press release when a small wasp buzzes all around his face. The man is caught up with his speech and he doesn't notice it until he accidentally takes the wasp into his mouth. Los debates naturales que hay en una zona tan importante como esta, que sin embargo, me la comí. A member of the media sees the whole thing and her facial expression changes to anxiety as she puts her hand to her mouth in surprise, clearly waiting for him to scream. You can see the wasp has a tiny stinger that could deal a lot of pain to the soft tissue of the mouth or gums. I'm amazed that he didn't get stung, or if he did, he played it off well. Number 9. A YouTuber named Dan Baines is the keeper of Mr. Fritz, a ventriloquist dummy that was once used to entertain the troops. During the 1940s, he's very old and has since fallen apart to the point where all that remains is his disembodied head. Mr. Fritz is believed to be possessed by the spirit of his creator, a man who lost his life in battle and refuses to rest in peace. Lately, Dan has been seeing and hearing things all around the antique, so he sets up a camera to record. It's 3.30 in the morning when the glass door pops open. I don't see a string. Do you? This happens again at around the same time the next night, except this time his eyes open. String or no string? Watch this part and tell me how a wooden ventriloquist dummy can open its eyes with no one nearby. And if you zoom in for a closer look, you'll see two orbs race by shortly after the case opens. I'm not saying that this video is impossible to fake, but unless this is an electronic prop that is being controlled with a remote, then I don't see how it can be done. Number 8. In 2015, a hacker known only by the screen name Foster was able to infiltrate these road signs and change them to messages that would send panic to residents of Tucson, Arizona. These road signs, which normally were used to simply warn of an oncoming lane change, instead were changed to talk about nuclear fallout and other hazardous materials up ahead. Take a look at the passable font, lettering, and spacing. It all looks normal and has no indication of being a prank. Based on this video, do you think you would have known it was fake? Or would it have been enough to panic you? Number 7. A race car driver finds himself in one of the worst predicaments possible when the steering wheel breaks off in his hands. Shortly after kicking it into high gear by itself, judging by his right leg, it doesn't look like he hit the gas at all. <laughs> The only thing left to do to keep from flying into the wall is pull the emergency brake, which he grabs immediately after fumbling a moment more with the now non-existent controls. The faraway look in his eyes at the end of it all says everything. He knows exactly how much danger he was in and that he's lucky to still be alive. Number 6. This man's job is probably one of the most anxiety producing careers in the world. Each day, he has to check underwater pipes for clogs. You can't see anything down there, so the only way to check for clogs is to blindly feel around the outside of the pipe by hand. The red and black diver's outfit is the only thing separating his body from an entire system of stinking raw sewage. A single rip would flood him with endless waves of flesh-eating bacteria as he takes a final gulp of putrid wastewater. I think I seriously see duct tape around the gloves at the 5 minute 30 second mark, so I don't feel too good about this mission. Soon he is in over his head in the muck and fumbling around deep below. Look at how much sharp trash is around him. Glass and other pieces of trash float around the open air sewer. I honestly can't believe he feels safe enough to do this. But here's another part that is just giving me tons of anxiety. No, ya. Sí. He takes off his helmet and continues talking while covered in the germ-infested wastewater like it's no big deal. 
I mean, his face is fully exposed, and this just seems like the time to get out of the outfit immediately. Not stand around and talk. Number 5. A man creeps up on an unsuspecting woman as she enters her code into an ATM, laying low until she enters her pin and then taking over the transaction by force, nudging her out of the way to make an involuntary withdrawal. He is completely unconcerned with getting caught and wears no disguise whatsoever as the woman struggles from her car to stop him. He later repeats the plan again, hiding out of sight until the last second and then leaping into the person's car to go after the large large wad of cash in their hand. The fact that he was doing this during broad daylight shows that there is no safe time to be at an ATM, so you have to constantly be on guard. Number 4. Passengers on a ride at the state fair dangle helplessly high in the air, unable to do anything but wait to be let off as technicians struggle to manually gain control over each of the three spinning sections. There is not much time to act and every second is precious. The ride stopped because of an electrical malfunction, which means it can possibly start up again at any moment and smash everything to pieces. Meanwhile, everyone's restraints are being tested to the max as they hang upside down with their full weight suspended in midair. A loose screw or moving part could send them into the concrete below. The workers have to level out the seats so that they are upright before lowering the ride. I can only imagine how high everyone's anxiety levels must have been, especially the family members watching from the outside. Number 3. These bizarre chittering noises, recorded in the middle of the woods at almost 3am, were loud enough to rattle the glass of the window in its pane. Tell me if you can identify this creature, because the uploader is certain that this is a skinwalker. <laughs> I personally have no idea what a skinwalker even sounds like, but if this person lives in the woods and has never heard anything like this before, then I have no reason to doubt them. Number 2. It's 10 at night when a sphere of light travels across the living room of a YouTuber named Play With Me. Moments later, this spectral figure emerges from the same area where the light last went off to. Its see-through body is especially visible against the dark hardwood floor. As it crosses the room and walks straight through the door without opening it, there's no doubt that this is the sphere of a person. But is this editing or a real ghost is the real question. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because we upload a new scary video every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. A YouTuber named RJ32 is at the beach in Southern California when one of his kids sees a fast moving round creature in the clear water. Watch this part and give me your best guess as to what this could be. And don't worry if you can't tell yet, because you and he are about to get a much closer look. RJ32 curiously walks over to where he last saw what he thinks was a flounder and starts kicking around. Panic sets in as he realizes he's uncovered a stingray that was trying its best to hide from him in the sand. I don't think the stingray is full grown, but take a closer look and tell me if I'm wrong. Mature or not, the tail seems like just the right size to go through your foot if you aren't careful. RJ32 gets a quick warning jab and is sent limping to the beach. If this is what a baby can do, I wouldn't like to see the work of an adult. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!